Welcome to iconic Sakurajima Island in Kagoshima. It's fun to hop on ferry to beautiful volcanic island. You can enjoy hiking, biking, and hot springs. Kagoshima is located in the southern part of Japan, just a short one hour and 40 minute flight from Tokyo. You can spot Sakurajima, that famous active volcano, right from Kagoshima City. It's still pretty active, you can see and feel it. Hop on a ferry from Kagoshima City, and you'll hit Sakurajima in around 15 minutes. It's a hot spot for locals and tourists, probably cause it's so close and kinda mesmerizing. Unfortunately, it was cloudy on the day we trip. Let's see how it goes. For arriving here from Tenmaki, it takes about 6 minute bus ride and a 9 minute walk to reach the ferry terminal. The Sakurajima ferry operates 24 hours a day, typically running every 20 minutes during the day, making it incredibly convenient. Locals often use the ferry for commuting and school transport. Upon arrival at the entrance, I was surprised to find no payment area or attendance. The sign indicated that payment is made when disembarking, specifically upon arrival at the Sakurajima ferry terminal. It seems like the ferry has just arrived at the terminal. So, people are about to disembark. We need to wait here. The ship is large, allowing people coming from Sakurajima by car or motorcycle to board. Wow, it's exciting to actually see cars disembarking from the ferry. Looks like local students, residents are disembarking. Now ready to go. Okay, this level is where car is going to stop. Ship can load more than 50 cars. I want to move on to the top deck to feel the breeze. I will introduce the inside part of the second floor where restaurant and relaxing seats are available. Top deck is an open area. I like it. Still cloudy and not clear view of Sakurajima. Now, the ship has begun to move. Here's the story of how this ferry service started. The eruption of Sakurajima in 1914 caused significant damage to residents, prompting the need for a regular route connecting Kagoshima City and Sakurajima. The village of Nishi Sakurajima, later Sakurajima Town, now part of Kagoshima City, began preparations and acquired 14 boats owned by the community, commencing operations in 1934 using larger vessels. Initial fares ranged from 10 to 15 sen for a one-way trip. Over time, they increased the frequency, currently and as I mentioned, now operating with 15-minute intervals during mornings and evenings, 20-minute intervals during the day, 30-minute intervals at night, and 60-minute intervals in the late night, providing a 24-hour service to cover the approximately 3.5 kilometers distance in about 15 minutes. Now, let me show you inside on the third level. As you can see, there are plenty of seats available. This is a famous udon noodle shop called Yabu King. They operate from 9 o'clock in the morning until 6.45 in the evening, primarily catering to passengers departing for Sakurajima. Despite the 15-minute boat ride, many people were indeed eating on the return trip. Now we are approaching Sakurajima Terminal. Okay, now let me tell you today's four main activities. First one is foot bath, and then exploring the walking trails, then visit the museum, 
and finally experiencing the hot springs of Sakuraja. Yes, the primary purpose is to enjoy the beauty of Sakurajima up close, but the most anticipated pleasure is soaking in the hot springs. Now, let me talk about hot springs in Kagoshima. Kagoshima is famous for its hot springs, but behind that lies an interesting story. Just like Sakurajima, this region is volcanically active, resulting in numerous hot springs. There's a tale that the historical figure, Sakamoto Ryoma, visited Kagoshima's hot springs during his honeymoon. Ryoma played a significant role during the turbulent end of the Edo period and contributed to Japan's modernization. The hot springs in Kagoshima are abundant, to the extent that some are even piped into public baths and private homes. So the people of Kagoshima are Now, we're finally arriving at the Sakurajima Terminal. The view from the open deck is truly splendid, with Sakurajima ahead and the city of Kagoshima behind us. The 15-minute journey passed in the blink of an eye, enhanced by the gentle movements of the ferry and the delightful sea breeze. As you can see, there are two bridges for cars, motorcycle, and bicycle, seemingly connecting to the ground floor and to the second floor. Disembarking was a smooth process, with no crowding on the stairs. Having the fare of 200 yen ready, we are now ready to arrive at Sakurajima. In Japan, the number of visitors from overseas is increasing, and at various tourist destinations, they provide English maps, guidebooks, and concierge services. When you arrive here at Sakurajima, be sure to stop by the Tourist Information Center to get the necessary information. As I started walking from the terminal, I spotted the ferry toll booths for vehicles. It seems to vary by size, but for an average size private car, the one-way fare is around 2,000 yen. After a short walk, we came across a Lawson convenience store. We purchased rice balls and sandwiches for lunch after trail walk. Japan's convenience store culture, with its presence all over the country and the Variety of delicious foods is truly remarkable. Now, we found the sign of foot bath. Sakurajima Yoganagisa Park, home to one of Japan's largest foot baths, is just a short five minute walk from Sakurajima Port. Sakurajima is part of the Kurashima Kinkawin National Park. Be sure to take a commemorative photo at the entrance. The long foot bath in this park which is about 100 meters long, uses natural hot springs that gush out from 1,000 meters underground, just like Rainbow Sakurajima Hotel and Sakurajima Youth Hostel. When you soak in the reddish-brown foot bath, your body will be warmed up. True to its natural hot springs, it was pleasantly warm and incredibly comfortable and soothing. Oh, be sure to bring small towel to dry your feet after the foot bath. Nowadays, foot baths have become immensely popular and can be enjoyed at various tourist destinations. Oh, hello there. It seems a local cat welcomed us. Around this park and trail entrance, friendly cats come to gather, bringing comfort to tourists. Every day, they watch the fairies arriving at Sakurajima like this, giving a warm welcome, I guess. Okay, now we are ready for walking on the trail. I hope I can see better view of Sakurajima. Now, I'm at the entrance to Yogan Nagisa Trail. Yogan means lava. This is a trail spanning approximately 3 kilometers, connecting from the entrance to the Karasujima Observation Point. 
Carved atop the lava fields, this walking course has been selected as one of Japan's top 100 walking paths. You can enjoy views of Kagoshima City from here. The trail is flat and easy to walk, making it enjoyable and accessible for everyone. Yes, you can choose and challenge steps if you want. After enjoying trail walk and lunch, we drop in by visitor center where they have museum inside to learn about Sakurajima. You'll find a model of Sakurajima, photographs, and various exhibits showcasing its history and more. This is the photo of the 1914 Tai Show eruption of Sakurajima. They are showing various major eruptions of each era and how it changed the shape of Sakurajima. Here, you can learn how people are living with this active volcanic island. Finally, we are ready for hot springs. Onsen facility is inside Rainbow Sakurajima Hotel. This facility is actually not a hotel but the lodge run by the local government, which is called Koku Ming Shikusia in Japanese. Here we are, at the Sakurajima Magma Onsen. It's a hot spring sourced from a spring welling up from 1,000 meters underground. This place allows you to slowly and leisurely heal your mind and body with the benefits bestowed by nature. It's fully equipped with far infrared saunas, cold water baths, and electric baths. I'm sorry. Of course, there's no camera inside. But it was a luxurious time, soaking slowly in the warm hot spring, followed by a dip in the cold water, and then returning to the hot spring again. After the hot spring, I relaxed on tatami mats while looking out at Sakurajima. Wow, I can't believe it's time to leave, but I'm looking forward to the view of Sakurajima from the ferry. Okay, now clouds are moving away. As you can see, there's volcanic ash coming out from Sakurajima. According to the records from the Japan Meteorological Agency, Sakurajima had 235 eruptions in 2022 and 215 eruptions in 2023. Prior to 2020, it used to exceed 400 eruptions annually, so it's almost erupting daily based on these figures. I will copy the links to websites below, which might be useful to you to know and get the information about Sakurajima. Thank you very much for watching until the end. Whether you've been to Japan before or plan to visit in the future, I hope you'll enjoy the profound culture, history, nature, delicious cuisine, hot springs, and all the other experiences it offers. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Be sure to hit subscribe and like buttons for the latest episode.